Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be making oxtail, Haitian style of course. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how I put my oxtail together. Alright guys, here we go. I have my oxtail, it's washed already. I clean it with fresh lime as well as vinegar. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my lemon juice. We're going to put a little bit like this, fresh lemon juice. And of course, we have to use our Haitian spice, a piece or a piece. I'm going to put maybe like two spoons like this. Uh, black pepper for sure. Uh, garlic powder. I'm going to put some cloves in, not much cloves, maybe about four cloves. Just a handful. Uh, all purpose seasoning, complete seasoning. These are your dried herbs. This has no salt in it. A little garlic powder. I mean, uh, garlic salt. Just a little bit. Like this. Because we want our oxtail nice and flavored. Adubo. A little bit like this. You guys know how I do it. And my husband bought me this Timashan, uh, this Creole seasoning. I'm going to use a little bit, just a little bit. It has a nice flavor to it. So I'm going to sprinkle just a few in like that. And of course you must have a scotch bonnet because this is going to flavor your whole uh, uh, dish. I'm going to put a couple leaves of thyme. It's already washed. And this is not, this is more Jamaican than Haitian, but I like the flavor of the allspice. So I'm going to put in just a cup of allspice in there. Put half of my season package because we do have a lot of flavors going on here. And last but not least, we're going to put in one Maggie Cube. everything together. Make sure every piece of your oxtail is nice and seasoned. Use your hands. I don't want to use my hands. Okay. Our oxtail is nice and flavored. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit for about eight hours. If you want, you could let it uh, marinate for, let it marinate overnight. You'll get a good result. But because it's nice and seasoned, eight hours or even two to three hours is perfect. And I'll show you how I cook my oxtail. All right, guys, we're back. My oxtail was in the refrigerator marinating. Now I put it on the stove on high for now and we're going to wait for it to come to a boil like this. And this I'm telling you guys this thing smells mm, wonderful. So what I'm going to do at this point is we're going to add in our scotch bonnet like this. And I'm telling you, this needs no more seasoning. It is perfect. And we're going to add some water. And we all know that oxtail takes a while to boil. So you make sure you put enough water to cover it like this. And once it comes to a boil, what I'm going to do is reduce the heat um, to a medium low and let it cook for about an hour and a half to two hours. And once it's cooked, 
I'm going to show you how I color it and serve it. All right, guys. Um, I boil the oxtail. And what I did was I remove the liquid and I remove uh, the oxtail. I add a little bit of oil. I'm going to fry some onion and some garlic. I cut them into small pieces just to flavor. I'm not going to use any more seasoning because it was seasoned from the season it earlier. So it's nice and seasoned. But what I'm going to do is give it some flavor. And we're going to add some tomato paste. Because we're going to give our... And of course, I'm going to put just a little bit of my Haitian seasoning. Maybe a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is we're going to begin the, this process here. We're going to fry our tomato paste. Make sure it's nice and cooked. Mm, it smells good, guys. As it cooks, we're going to use the same liquid from our oxtail, and we're just going to put it in like that, okay? And once I cook this the tomato paste, I'm going to add back in my oxtail, turn my stove down to a low, and let it color. And I'll show you how that looks in a few. It's been frying for about a minute, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add back in all of my oxtail. And we're just going to kind of coat it and see how this is getting dark. We don't want it to burn, so we're going to just keep adding just a drop of... And I'm turning down my stove to maybe a, a medium high. And we're going to keep doing this process until the oxtail has a nice uh, uh, golden looking color to it. And once I keep repeating this process, I'll show you how it's gonna look in a few minutes. All right guys, uh, see, this is how our oxtail look. It's nice and brown. I did not use browning. I just repeated the process that I showed you. I uh, just simply with the, uh, letting the oil and the tomato paste brown this. And every now and then, like I showed you before, I came in and did a little drizzling and then I stirred uh, boisil. Now what I'm going to go ahead and add is our vegetables. I'm going to add my onions, some of my different colored peppers like this before I add my liquid. This should be enough. I like onions over here. And just add your liquid to the side. Uh-oh. I'm going to in the stove, y'all. I'm going to hold this with my hands. Add it back in. And you put as much as uh, liquid that you want because this is your sauce. Um, I'm not going to use the whole thing. We definitely want to put our scotch bonnet back in here. back to a boil and I'm gonna let the vegetables cook for maybe a minute and then I'll show you how I serve it all right guys here we are here's the final product this is our oxtail I'm gonna serve it with some green plantain as well as rice and beans <clears throat> go ahead and like comment and subscribe.
Until next time, enjoy.